As an accounts payable clerk, you need a way of tracking or communication with the vendor. One way to do that is using D365 Sales or CRM. Today we're going to look at a look in the D365 app, timelines, communication, and applying filters. Let's get started. So one of the ways we currently communicate with our vendor is through the our Outlook app. So I have Outlook um, up here. And I've created a new email uh, to Jack Waterman as an example uh, with AdventureWorks, who is a vendor of mine asking for a credit limit increase. So I've typed up the email. I can then use my D365 add-in that is part of uh, Outlook. And you'll notice that it's now noticed Jack's email here, notices Jack is a contact in the system and is now going to start tracking um, that in, uh, email to the account uh, for VentureWorks. So as you can see, it says it's track pending here. So it's about to um, track this email. So I can go ahead and send this email out um, to the particular client or, or vendor and this would get tracked so I can attach um, you know documents to it just like any other email that I would use uh, with the system. Now jump back into C CRM and as you can see um, that email we just sent on the Jack uh, Wickerman um, contact I have the email associated um, that is now being tracked. I could reply directly from here as well um, or forward this particular message or open the record uh, directly from the timeline. Some other things you can do to track communication with a vendor would be to create a note on the uh, particular contact or account. So let's go to account here and we're going to go to our um, adventure works account that we just created. I think this was the one. So I have the email here that you can see it also gets tracked to the account, not just the contact, because the contact is obviously part of the account. And now I'm going to create another so I could for example, if I had a phone call with a vendor, I could track that within CRM. Or if I had a task to do, um, I could also create a note. Uh, so let's do that. So I can give the note a title. Um, send credit application. As an example, that would be the And add a note. This typically would be a task, but the note could be the account number. Let's actually modify that note. So we're going to edit it because this would normally be a task, but let's uh, vendor account number as an example. And we'll save this. So I have a now note on the account. The other thing I can do directly from uh, D365 is apply a filter to my timeline. So it's going to show the most recent um, communication I've had with the vendor. But I can apply this and say I only want to see notes or um, modify date in the last 24 hours, last seven days, whatever it may be, um, to reduce this list so that I'm only now seeing uh, relevant records that I'd like to look at. So that is working with um, CRM and Outlook and uh, your vendors and tracking different communication between you, the client, and the uh, vendor. If you'd like to learn more about working with vendors, please contact us at Profit by visiting us at www.profit.ca.